Hello everyone, welcome to your YouTube channel JS3 Javad. Today we shall continue to start reading the chapters of the book You Are a Badass by Chen Sinzaro. Resources Below is a list of some of the books uh, I read and the teachers I studied with for honing my own badassery. And while these are some of my all time favorites, let us strongly suggest you check out. My list is constantly growing and evolving, so if you'd like more all inclusive and up to date suggestions, Please sign up at www.gensincero.com and I shall keep you abreast. Books As Can It Is Given Learning to Manifest Your Desires by Esther and Jerry Hicks This is an excellent startup book, well written and not hellishly long. It talks all about the law of attraction in depth and how to manifest what you want in your life. First half is teachings, second half is to do. The Four Agreements uh, A Practical Guide to Personal Freedom by John M. Goebbels. Good shot based on the wisdom passed down from the author's top field ancestors. Basically, it talks about the four things you need to do to live an awesome life. Be impeccable with your word. Don't take it. It's worth a read for sure as it lays out some very simple and profound truths that will absolutely change your life for better if you live by them and it looks really good on your coffee table. The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Covelshin. This book constantly refers to the Bible and Jesus, but it's easy to love whether or not you're religious because it crammed full of valuable spiritual lessons and lots and lots of old time stories. The Power of The Power of Now A Guide to Spiritual Enlightenment by Eckhart Tolle. If you are new to the whole ego thing and really want to grasp the transformative nature of being present, this is basically the Bible. It challenges you to see the world in a different way and does a great job of, way of at helping you grasp some pretty deep theories about reality and time and perspective. This is another one where the freak factor is very high. Eckhart was suicidal, all ready to do himself in, and then woke up one morning all enlightened and transformed and was in a such a state of bliss that he spent the next two years sitting on a park bench playing with his lip. I am not kidding, then he channeled this book, As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. This is shockingly all about the mighty mind and how to use it to master your world. Considering the fact that if you can really truly get the skill done, you can create the most awesome life ever. Reading this book over and over and over until it becomes second nature is time well spent. The Creator Habit learned it and used it for life by Tyler Tarp. Writing by nonsense world renowned dance choreographer Tyler Tarp is one of the best spankings I ever got in the old Get Your Act Together department. Losing my virginity, how I have survived, had fun and made a fortune doing business my way by Richard Branson. And this is an awesome read. I devote the whole thing in one sitting. Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Records and Virgin Airlines, is a maniac and one of the most inspiring people on two legs as far as I'm concerned. The book details his life from when he started his little record shop to becoming one of the most famous and radical entrepreneurs who went on to buy his own island and fly hot air balloons over the ocean is the jet stream. jet stream. I would like very much to party with this guy. Important biography note. I have listed Richard Branson's biography because it's one of my favorites. But pretty much any biography or autobiography about the people you personally find inspiring is totally worth reading. Practical Intuition by Laura Day. Long hailed as a leading master of intuition, Laura Day has worked with everyone from high-powered business people to hippies to celebrities to financial analysts to housewives. She is the queen of showing people how to access the intuition so they can make more informed decisions and design more authentic lives. The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, a practical guide to the fulfillment of your dreams by Deepak Chopra. I am a huge fan of not having to read too much to get the information I want and of knowing how much I am gonna have to go do ahead of time to get where I want to go. Good old Deepak breaks achieving success down into seven easy to follow steps based on spiritual principles. You can heal your life by Lucy Hay. Lucy Hay is a modern day self help pioneer who cured herself of cancer using her highly ordered principles of self love and who now has her own empire with a publishing company and everything. This book is one of my faves, even though it's super woo woo woo, full of affirmations and general goodness, but in the ever critical self love department, doesn't get any better than this. The back of the book is all about the body and how all our injuries and diseases can be traced back to the negative thought patterns. So if you break your leg, you can look it up and see that it's because you are scared of moving forward. Creating Monkey Keys to Abundance by Sanya Roman and Yune Paco. The title of this book is a tad misleading because it's about so much more than money. Yet since most people want to make more money, the good news is they will pick it up and get way more than bear gained for by reading it and doing what it says. While it does indeed teach you how to create money, it also gives clear instruction on meditation, clearing blocks, manifesting, working with energy, gaining clarity, etc. 
the science of getting rich by Wallace D. Wattles. The very first sentence of this book made me slam it shut and leave it untouched for years. It reads, whatever may be said in praise of poverty, the fact remains that it is not possible to live a really complete or successful life unless one is rich. Hello, how cross is that? It offended me to my hippie core until I understood what it was really saying and the um, you can't, you kind of can't, not if you want to reach, uh, want to fully express yourself anyway. Rich simply means that you have everything you need to share your gifts fully with the world and stay, uh, share your gifts fully with the world and stay at the highest vibration while you do it, whatever that looks like for you. This is now easily the book that I recommend to people the most and the one I read over and over. But you have to let a lot go because it will absolutely go up your nose if you are still working on your issues around it being okay to make money. Think and grow rich by Nepo, other contender for the best wealth consciousness book ever, and another old timey one. I forgot to mention that Wallace Wattles book is old time too, but hello, look at the guy's name. Anyway, Napoleon Hill interviewed the most successful business at the time to gather the information for this incredible how-to guide. I read this book over and over to its very to point, a total ass kicker, and breaks everything down into simple, easy to follow instructions. Do what he says, and really do all of it, and you will be large and in charge. Finding your own North Star, claiming that you've seen Martha speak and have read lots of her work and really love her voice, so refreshing and brilliant, really hilarious. So I do. The Secret of Doing Relationships Right by Dr. Patricia Ellen. I'm pretty sure I tore the cover of this one before carrying it around, but in spite of its totally unfavor- unfavor- uh, unforgivable title, there are some real eye openers in here about the nature of men and women and how differently we go about relationships. Written for women by someone who has coached thousands of happy couples into long term relationships. It's full of brilliant insights uh, brilliant insights and tips on how to find and be in the relationship of your dreams. As with all this stuff, there will probably be parts you don't agree with. She is like a strict Christian mother on sex issue. But it's got a lot of very valuable information and is definitely worth the read by both men and women. Loving what is can change your life by Byron Kitty. Read this book. I demand it. It is the holy grail of being happy in your relationships. Based on what Cathy calls the work, which is essentially just asking yourself four simple yet profound questions. This book spends about 10 pages walking you through the steps of the work and couple hundred on case studies. It's basically like watching Kitty perform her magic on all sorts of people from those who have been brutally raped to people who have lost their children to those who want happier marriages. She walks them through her process and they suddenly find peace and free freedom. It's so cool and the work is a piece of cake. When you read it, I recommend reading the case studies work on yourself instead of the other way around seeing her to do it over and over will make it much easier for you to get better results when you try it on yourself. The Way of Superior Man, a spiritual guide to mastering the challenges of the woman work and sexual desire by David Vieira. The book is made for a man but the ladies must read it too if they really want to understand how men work. I thought it was brilliant and fascinating and explained so much about the opposite sex that made me respect men even more. In the guys I have suggested it to said it was naturally empowering. It speaks to and explains the highest version of masculinity reminding us ladies why we love the fellas so much and reminding men how truly awesome they are and can be. Seminars Facts Alison Armstrong I took one of the brilliant seminars for women called Understanding Men. Celebrating women, all about the differences between the sexes that had me on the floor. How did I make it this far and not know any of this? I thought it was so well done and not even that cheesy. I went to just that one seminar, but I highly enjoyed the recordings as well and have heard great things about the other workshops. The Hoffman Institute. Case. So this is the full on. Are you fucking kidding me? One. This involves beating pillows with baseball bats while choking at the top of your lungs, marrying yourself, singing lullabies to your inner child, basically everything that would have most people running for their lives. It was so over the top that you could not help but give in to it, because what the hell else could you do? Other good speakers to keep an eye out for, Martha Beck, Hester Hicks, Marianne Williamson, Biron Catty, Wayne Dyer, David Neville, Deepak Chopra, Gabriel Bernstein. Acknowledgements. Thanks to everyone at the Funny Farm, especially Horsepace McGee and Goatly Think One and Goatly Think Two for keeping me company, staring at me while I wrote, hacking me up, and showing me that I'm capable of unconditional love by chewing through the door and popping all over the couch. I owe many thanks to my agent Peter Steinberg for all his hard work, support, and camaraderie. Gigantic TFO, are you kidding me? Go to Gaina DV for saving the day with her insight, humor, and ruthlessly rubbing red pen and to Alice Fiori and Bill Campbell for this friendship, endless generosity, support and high threat countries. Thanks to Jennifer Cassius, Monica Parso 
and everyone at running fridge and this person Crystalline Hoffman, Julie Fahertri, my sweet mama, Michael Flowers, Katharine Dever, and the universe for all the endless awesomeness. Okay, all, we should, this is the uh, conclusion of the book. We are the badass by Jensen Sero. Thank you for continuously listening to our recordings. Have a great day.